Hey everyone, welcome back. One of you challenged me to make this work on Thunderbolt, the bow equivalent of a concealed explosives. What can I say? Free video idea? It has much worse explosion odds than concealed, and no bows come even remotely close to the fire rate of haikus. So would this actually be possible? Honestly, I wasn't sure at first, as this time I don't have a ribbon. I have way less explosions, my fire rate is complete crap, and survivability is even more of an issue as slower fire rate means trash mobs take longer to kill. I also did it in Grenier this time instead of Corpus, where armor becomes a problem again and they have higher HP scaling. But then an idea came to me. Cernos Prime, with its innate multi-shot, maybe there was a way to make this work. Just a warning though, don't do this, it's infinitely worse than Haiku, which is already a meme setup that actually works well and is fun to use. Using bows for Thunderbolt on Steel Path is just plain masochism. Thunderbolt is a rare mod that can only be equipped on bows. It only gives them a 30% chance of exploding compared to concealed explosives 80%. The hit still does 250 blast damage with 10 meters radius no fall off, and cannot hit through walls. Primed Firestorm also works on this to push it to 16.6 meters AoE. Just like before, Prime Sure Footed is really needed to make this work properly. But why would you actually use this mod? Anyways, the damage once again is unaffected by base damage mods nor elemental mods, but is affected by Banes. We're gonna slap this on Saren once again, using the exact same build as from the Haiku Concealed Explosives video that precedes this one. If you want to run down exactly how that works, check it out on the card at the top right. Toxin Lash will proc off the Thunderbolt AoE hits and force proc Toxin DOTs. Venom Dose will also scale into this and the DOT itself. This lets Thunderbolt proc Toxin, and once we apply enough stacks with Cernos Prime, we can cast Expedite Suffering to one-shot enemies, particularly the Demolists. The build is the same as last time, balancing a little bit of range so that Expedite has 12 meters and can actually hit the Demolist while staying outside the 6.5 meter nullifier pulse radius they have. The high strength gives us 89% Toxin Lash scaling on the Thunderbolt proc, and Venom Dose will scale 298% corrosive damage into it also. Finally, it also gives us a tad bit extra speed when we cast Molt to get away. I don't want to completely trash efficiency since duration isn't that high, so I'm running Streamline. It's actually kind of expensive to have to cast your 1 and 3 more than once a minute, but also use your 4 here and there, and also for Demolus for sure, at least once per minute, and also be casting Molt to get away. That's also why we're going for Xenric to stack up on Energizing Dash with Arcane Energize. Otherwise, I would have dropped Streamline for Vigorous Swap or Synth Reflex, but that's why I chose to run Holster Speed in the Weapon Exilus slots. Arcane Acceleration isn't that noticeable on Cernos Prime after stacking Vile Acceleration, which even has double effect on bows. You probably could slot Arcane Deflection here to ignore Slash procs, which are quite common from Grenier. Basically, you want your 1 and 3 up at all times, and when a Demolus spawns, you'll armor strip, stack up your Toxin DOTs, and cast Expedite to one-shot them. Once again, we're going to need a unique and unusual Cernos Prime build to make Thunderbolt work. Honestly, this is a complete waste of the weapon's potential, because unlike Haiku, Cernos Prime can actually kill things. It is one of the few bows with an 8 multi-shot, which is unfortunately the same reason why it makes it the best candidate for Thunderbolt spam. Thunderbolt has its own base stats, so the crit status and IPA split on our bow is irrelevant. We're focusing on multi-shot, fire rate, and reload, which cuts the delay until the next arrow can be notched. No Riven this time. Because this is much weaker than Haiku, there's only one build. We will not be deciding between pure toxin or viral on the bow. We're going for a full toxin build and sourcing viral from a primer instead. Toxin mod percentage will be scaled into toxin lash to determine the size of our DOTs. The build is going to look like this. We're going for AoE damage, so headshots are irrelevant, and we will be spamming quick shots on the bow as fast as possible since Thunderbolt doesn't care about full charge damage. Therefore, I'm slotting Split Flights, which gives us up to 400% multi-shot, much more than Galvanized Chamber, and only requires hits instead of kills. Although it only lasts 2 seconds, we have a 16.6 meter radius AoE because of Firestorm. So you will instantly max the mod every single time you shoot, and spam firing means Split Flights will stay at max stacks, until you stop shooting. Thunderbolt is the obvious mandatory part of the build and the entire reason we're doing this. Essentially, a much shittier concealed explosives with only 30% chance of exploding. Cernos Prime has 15 arrows and max split flights, so only 4.5 explosions will be produced per shot on average. As I said, we're modding full toxin to scale into toxin lash and stacking both fire rate and reload speed so we can spam shots as fast as possible. Primary Merciless also adds some extra reload and doubles our ammo max, which will be important for how spammy the build is. Because we do shoot slower than Haiku though, Carrier's ammo case alone will be enough to keep us topped up. 
The final mod prime to Bane of Grenier is extremely important because it lets the Toxin DOTs triple dip by first buffing Thunderbolt, then Toxin Lash, then the final Toxin DOT also. For Expedite though, it will only double dip due to weird mechanics. We aren't running Vigorous Swap on Siren because I don't really have the slots for it, so we're slotting Twitch for Holter Speed on Cernos, as well as on the Primer. I'm bringing Epitaph as the main primer today, as well as my main form of CC since I've already used my Hellman slot for Expedite Suffering. Again, remember this is a shitpost build. Honestly, I would prefer to just not even run our Thunderbolt bow setup, as it really isn't practical. But continuing on, we're modding for Viral and Radiation. Epitaph's Quick Shot force procs Cold, as well as Blast being an innate element. The enemies will be slowed with reduced accuracy, more vulnerable to damage, and also with friendly fire aggro. The radiation status is arguably the most important part of all to make sure the aggro is pulled away from you, as even slowed enemies can still hurt, especially if it's Grenier with their hitscan weapons. Double auger mods to increase status duration a bit longer, as well as stacking with brief respite to total 230% energy conversion to shields on cast. This will allow any ability cast to instantly regenerate all shields for max shield gating, including casting spores. Secondary dexterity gives us extra holster speed as well. Finally, our carrier build. It's the exact same as last time with focus on pure support. Ammo case, radar, instant, shield gating restore, passive weapon reloads, and a tiny slow is what brings to the table. By not slotting assault mode, this guarantees it won't draw aggro and die. As I said, ammo case alone without a mutation is enough for Sonos Prime because both shoot much slower than Haikus. Vastalock is our last weapon, and it's catered specifically for armor stripping Demla so we can get even more damage out of the Toxin Dots when we cast Expedite Suffering. Unlike Haiku, I would strongly recommend always armor stripping before casting Expedite because Cerno shoots much slower and procs less Toxin than Haiku. Sacrificial Steel lets you proc Arcane Acceleration if you have it equipped. Otherwise, this is just a universal standard armor strip build with Shattering Impact. There is extra attack speed and wind up in case we use the heavy attack though. Dispatch Overdrive for movement utility, and finally Volcanic Edge for some free CC, and also in the case where we're using heat inherent builds and can reset the existing heat stack durations while we're busy armor stripping. Time to test against Drakar Manic Bombards. As usual, they have similar EHP to Exo Gokstad officers, except they have alloy armor instead and thus aren't weak to corrosive, aka Venom Dose's damage type buff. We cast Venom Dose and Toxic Clash, shoot Epitaph at the Drakar Manic Bombards, swap to Cernos, shoot a bunch, and cast Expedite. Normally you would strip armor before shooting Cernos, but I skipped that here because even though Cernos is much weaker than Haiku, it's still strong enough to near instantly kill in Simulacrum if I armor strip, making it near impossible to showcase the damage from Expedite Suffering. As you climb higher in Disruption, the discrepancy between these two explosive weapons will continue to grow larger. I imagine Cernos Prime Thunderbolt can work at level cap, but it would be incredibly annoying to use, whereas Haiku would remain satisfying and easy. All that's left is showing you the Steel Path Disruption Showcase. Keep in mind the slower fire rate also means Cernos also has much more issues killing trash mobs without using Expedite. Key carriers are quite the nuisance, and don't be afraid to cast Expedite on them to end the fight quickly and disengage from the hitscan weapons of Grenier.
there you have it. This is literally a shittier version of the haiku setup in every way and form. I hope you're happy that the challenge is completed as I'm sure I won't be using this variant again. So yes, it can work, but totally isn't worth it. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible like I've done with covering the Tempest story and the Sisters of Parvos updates. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. I'm also preparing to get you more info out first once new war info drops. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.